Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to query against tables in Microsoft SQL Server using Pandas. So Pandas has updated its library to use SQL Alchemy as the engine to use SQL Alchemy as the engine to run query against database systems. In the past, we can simply pass the connection as an object and pass a SQL query to retrieve a data set. But that's not the case anymore. So here in my SQL Server, I have this uh, SQL statement that I'm going to use as demonstration. So here, let me copy the SQL query to my Python script. And I'll name the variable uh, SQL statement. And it should be a uh, statement. Now for the libraries that we'll be using, here let me uh, insert the uh, import statement. So for the libraries that we'll be using, from SQL Alchemy, I'm going to import the uh, create engine function. And from SQL Alchemy engine module, I'm going to import the uh, URL class. And to connect to my SQL Server database, I'll be using the PYPYODBC uh, library. You can also use PYODBC library as well. And finally, I'm going to import the Pandas module. So the first step is going to be uh, construct the uh, database connection. And since I'll be using SQL Server, so first I need to uh, figure out the server name. And we can figure out the server name by using the slash at, at server name SQL statement. I'm going to uh, copy the server name and back to my Python script. All right, so here I'm going to create a variable called server name. And I'll paste the server name address. And for the database, my table is going to be stored under my JJ database. So I'm going to uh, assign JJ to my database name variable. Next, I'm going to construct my connection string. Now, if we look at the connection string variable here, here we need to uh, specify the driver. And for SQL Server, it's going to be uh, SQL Server. And if you want to be more specific, you can uh, provide the uh, full driver name uh, for your SQL Server uh, version. Then for the server name, we're going to assign that to the uh, server property. And for database name, it's going to be database property. And also make sure that you set the trust connection to yes. And if you're logging in with your username and password, then for username, uh, the property is going to be UID. And for password, it's going to be PWD. And since I'm authenticating uh, using my Windows uh, credential, so I don't need to provide my uh, username and password. So I'm going to delete those two lines. Now I can create my SQL Server connection and my SQL Alchemy engine. All right, so here, uh, let's take a look at these two lines. So to create a SQL Server connection, we need to use the URL class that I create, followed by the database system that we'll be uh, using, and the uh, Python library's name. And we'll pass the connection string to the ODBC connect key. And here, make sure that you provide the uh, connection as a dictionary to the uh, query parameter. And to create SQL Alchemy's engine, so here we want to use the uh, create engine function, and we'll provide the connection URL object. And for the module, we want to set that to ODBC, and which is going to be the uh, libraries that we'll be uh, using to connect to the database system. Now let me go ahead and run this code block by itself. Okay, so I have created my uh, connection URL object and as well as uh, create the SQL Alchemy engine. Now to pass the SQL query to uh, query against our database system uh, using pandas. So here we can simply uh, reference the pandas library that reads SQL query, and we'll pass the SQL statement, and we'll provide the SQL Alchemy engine. Now if I run uh, this code block, and it's going to basically uh, pass the SQL statement, to my database system and retrieve the records as a DRFM object. You can also use this technique to work with other database systems such as MySQL or Co or PostgreSQL. As long as the database system supports ODBC Connection Manager, then you will be able to uh, use this uh, template to connect to a database and pass a SQL statement to retrieve the records using Pandas. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And feel free to post your question or your feedback in the comment section below. And as always, see you guys watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.